Want to add a clip in your project in Final Cut Pro? Well, have I got the command for you. Hey everybody, welcome to Sandy Sundays. I'm Sandy Schwartz, your personal video editing coach. I'm going to scoop out a little bit of information about Final Cut Pro every Sunday. This is episode number nine. I'm going to teach you how to import clips into your Final Cut Pro project. Now let's get to it. So this is going to be an easy one. I'm going to basically be teaching you how to import video from your hard drive into Final Cut so that you can use it in the net. So the first thing you want to do is you want to create a new library. You go File, New, Library. It's that simple. We're going to call this SSEP009 Demo because this is what I'm going to use as my demo for this tutorial. Alrighty. It creates a project or a library and it creates a new event. So I start with my first and most important event which is my a cuts bin. A C U T S. Okay, what that is, that's where my edits are going to reside. And it stays up at the top. I can always find it. Anybody who wants to find an edit on my projects goes to A cuts if they're working on the same project. So now we want to create a new event. Okay, option N, see that there? But we're going to do it like this first. And this one is going to be called Clips. Now Final Cut Pro keeps everything organized in alphabetical order, so that's good. So then we have Option N, and this is going to be Music. All right, and then Option N is going to be GFX, which is my graphics. Okay, so, and you can see that it comes up in alphabetical order, so it's easy to find. So now we're going to start importing some clips. So there's a couple ways you can do it. You can hit File, Import, Media. See, that's Command-I. It's the same thing. Now it brings up a window here. And I have a bunch of different clips here in this folder, so I'm just going to take random clips. And as long as leave files in place is clipped, you're going to be fine. If you go to copy the library, it's going to duplicate the video. So it's going to fill up more hard drive space. And once you start building a library of projects, you're going to start seeing that the machine's going to bog down because the hard drive is going to bog down because it's going to be fuller and fuller. So then we hit import selected. All right. Now we can hit Clips, Command-I, and we can actually bring in all of them. If you hit Command-A, it selects all of them, and we import all of them. And there you go. That's all the video that we want. Hey, do me a favor. If you're getting value from this video, hit the like button and drop a comment below. Thank you very much. So now let's bring in graphics. Now another way to do this is to go to your finder level and we can actually search on the finder level just like we did when we hit command I. Okay, so think of this as the finder, but you don't see anything. So I'm going to cancel this, cancel, close, and I'm going to command tab. So if I hit command N, it opens up a window and it's usually recents and then you go to your hard drive mine's called just videos and then I go to YouTube videos and we go to Sandy Sundays and we're going to look for graphics see GFX that way they match and we can go to 009 GFX and this JPEG here is the one that I use inside of Final Cut Pro. Now you can use a Photoshop file and it just, whatever you've selected comes up and it creates an automatic alpha if you have nothing behind it. 
like when you're working in Photoshop um, and you've got the little squares behind your image, you bring that into Final Cut Pro, the squares go away and it creates a hole. And that's great for if you're putting graphics in individually. So, but we're just bringing in a whole page. So I'm just gonna bring this one in and I'm just gonna drag it right over here and boom, there it is. So each one of these elements can be an element inside Final Cut Pro. Okay, so now let's import some music. See, there's nothing here except for this button that says Import Media. We click this button. This is just another way of doing it. And we go to the music folder in our project. And we highlight everything by hitting shift click. And then we make sure we got leave files in place and we import the selected and everything comes in. It's pretty quick, pretty easy. And that's importing clips for Final Cut Pro so you can edit. If you like this video and are new to this channel, subscribe. Click the bell if you want to be notified when the next one comes out. I'll be putting out a new video every Sunday, so watch out for them. Don't forget to press the like button and leave a comment below. I love reading all the comments. Until next time, I'm Sandy Schwartz, your personal video editing coach, and this was Sandy Sundays. See ya! If you want to watch another Sandy Sunday video, click over here. If you want to subscribe, click over here. I recommend you do both because you're going to get a lot of great stuff.